two years ago, if you'd ask me what I thought about Star Trek, I'd be like, yeah, whatever, I've seen a few episodes. But after a long pandemic and Netflix at my fingertips, I decided to deep dive into several of the Star Trek series. And now, I guess you could say, I converted. Space. Finally. So with Halloween coming up, I decided to make not one, but two Star Trek uniform slash costumes. One for me, one for my husband Jeremiah, and I decided to go with the original series. Why the original series? One, I love it. Two, it's the most colorful and most recognizable uniform, and also the most 60s, so it just made sense. Because men in the original series are wearing this pullover situation. The obvious choice was to hand knit a sweater. Sure, sure, the original customs are not hand knit, but whatever, we're not going for perfect replica here. We're going just for fun. So I gave Jeremiah a choice between Spock and Kirk. And I was pining for Spock, but he wanted to be Kirk. Mm, it is not logical. So a Kirk sweater it is. And before we jump into our mission of knitting a Star Trek sweater based on Captain Kirk, I will give you a little word of my sponsor, Bellish. You've seen me talk about Bellish before. I review their app, making a pair of socks, and I also created an Audrey Hepburn inspired sweater. Bellish is a free iOS app that helps you generate knitting patterns just by choosing between different options. You can create all kinds of garments like sweaters, hats, socks and more. You can personalize your pattern just by selecting the thing that you want to do. After you're done customizing, you can preview your design and then generate the instructions to knit it. And they have a bunch of sizes, so it's super inclusive and you can make it from a kid size to a really large adult size. So yeah, you can knit yourself or others a unique costume for Halloween. Here are some ideas of what I would knit other than a Starfleet sweater, but you can also just join me and make the Spock sweater that I didn't make. So using Bellish, I knit the Kirk sweater and these are the settings that I chose. I simply chose a raglan sweater, full size, with a v-neck and long sleeves. In the preview I made it yellow and I chose a size based on Jeremiah's measurements and I decided to knit it in worsted weight because that way it could be done faster. The cool thing about Bellish is that you can choose whichever weight of yarn you want. So it can go from a fingering weight to a bulky weight. So with my pattern ready to go, the next part of this mission was to get some yarn in the correct color. So I went down to Michael's. We're on our way to Michael's. What are we getting? Yarn. So we're going for Kirk and I prefer wool ease just because it has 20% wool. The color is not right. And this is way too bright. So we might, we might have to go with the impeccable yarn. What do you think? Yeah. Another very important thing that would make or break this costume was the insignia of Starfleet that goes on the left side. So I found these really cool Etsy shop where they sell all kinds of nerdy things for costumes. So with everything ready, I went on to knitting. I follow the pattern almost exactly the same as it comes in the instructions, only with a few changes. The red line sweater is knit top down starting with the neck, creating the v-neck and the raglan creases to make the sleeves. Then the body is separated and knit alone until it's the desired length. And then the sleeves are picked up and also knit down with some decreases until you get to the very end. That's where the first change comes. The pattern calls for ribbing at the end of the sleeves. I didn't do ribbing, I just left it stockinette. And then finally I picked up the stitches around the v-neck and you're supposed to also knit that in ribbon, but I just did it with stocking net in black. So that would kind of mimic the undershirt of the Starfleet uniform. I just used yarn left over from another project. And of course, the special touch that makes all the difference, I hand sewn the patch onto the left side of the sweater. Just to finish up this costume, I got some black pants of a thrift store and throw it all together, voila! We got ourselves a captain, Captain Kirk. I'm actually really pleased with how this turned out. I really like it. Even though it looks hand knit, it still looks really cool. And yeah, it knit really, really fast. I breezed through it. But what did you think, Jeremiah? Yeah, I thought it was good. With that, our mission is completed and we got ourselves a Kirk sweater. Next up, I gotta make my costume, which is gonna be a scant, or that's what they call the really, really short dress that the women wear as a uniform. So I'm really looking forward to that. Stick around so you can see how I make that. Thank you so much for watching and thank you Bellish for sponsoring this video. Stick around and subscribe if you wanna see more cool, nerdy, vintage knitting and sewing stuff. And I love to see what you guys are making for Halloween. If you are knitting something, please tell me about it in the comments and happy knitting.
It's literally still August and all the Christmas stuff is here. It's hiding in the corner. Happy fall, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>